Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. It's been a long time since I did a video. But we're back in lockdown again. Don't mind that. We love, we stand, we say that. We love you, Boris. Today's video, basically, I've seen a trend a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago now, of a lot of makeup artists doing the My Friends Pick My Makeup Challenge. So, I got in touch with a few of my friends, sent them a Snapchat saying, hey, draw me a makeup look, and... I had some very interesting ones. I'm going to be doing two or three today. Hopefully I can get three done because obviously a long time it takes to do a look, never mind three. But we move, so we're going to do that today. Obviously I'm starting full base on, as you can see, um, <laughs> my face looks dirty because of my moustache on my beard. But we move, we, we don't mind that, we don't mind it. I'm going to get started with the first one and then, yeah, let's get cracking so for my first look um we've got one from my lovely friend jade i can't show you on my phone because i do have to record on my phone however get a new camera for christmas if christmas even goes ahead this year and so i'm just gonna have to show you on my laptop instead so she's gonna absolutely kill me for this however we've got a lovely she was like oh hey yes bitch she said i call it watermelon realness so clearly we're going for a watermelon look on the eyeballs today with a peachy nude lip, loads of big fat blusher, my favourite, so we'll get started with that one. As you can see, I'm just starting out with my P. Louise base all over my eyeballs and I'm going to take my Stacey Marie Carnival palette and we're going to be dipping into, why does that make my lighting look a lot nicer? Ooh, stop. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to take a shade, The Hype, and I'm just going to start packing that on the edges of my eyeballs. So I'm just taking this right on the outside corner and I'm thinking obviously with it being a watermelon and then being round I'm gonna like cut I don't even know what I'm doing I'm just we, we vibing we moving and so with this I'm just gonna take this all the way up and round as you can see it's a lovely watermelon colour ladies and gents and then obviously I mean I can't do a look without dragging it out but for now I'm just packing the colour on and I feel like I'm going to leave it sort of like here and then that's going to be like my watermelon rind. That's not the rind, the rind's the white bit, never mind. And um, that's going to be the skin. There we go, that's what it's called, the skin. And wow, doesn't this look stunning already? <laughs> no. And then I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to take the shade Ecstasy from the same palette and tap that over the edge. And that's going to give us a little bit of dimension. Just around the edges, adding that, obviously the two tones of a watermelon because they're not just one colour, believe it or not. And then once I've got that on and blended, I'm gonna sort of pull it out a little bit. Not much, because obviously I wanna keep it almost rounded for the shape of a watermelon, but not this round, because um, we, don't, we don't be doing circles on the eyeballs. None of that, none of that. How's everyone holding up anyway? Like, I feel like everything, I mean, it wasn't obviously getting anywhere close to back to normal, however, we were we were making progress and then lo and behold, bang, gets November time. Bojo says, Hey, the hey, lockdown again. Who's up for it? And no one was, but he did it anyway. So um we vibe. I mean we definitely don't vibe, but hey ho. And then now I've got that all blended out, I'm just gonna take those same two shades under my eyeballs before I go anywhere near the top. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I've just, oh god, look at those creases in my eyeballs, love that. Um, I've just taken all of the green, pulled it nice and far out. So, next step, I'm going to take my P. Louise blank canvas and I'm just going to carve out a nice round shape here and then just a little line here. And that's going to act as like the watermelon rind when I set it, because I'm just going to set it with like a white shadow. I'm going to do that off camera because it's a little bit of detail work and you guys know I can't do it on camera. It's almost as if I'm cheating, as if I'm getting someone else to do it, but I see no one, so just trust and believe. As you can see, I have packed on some white shadow, cut it out again, because this is where I'm going to place like the watermelon pink shade. I'm going to place this all over the lid, add some little black dot of roonies, do the other eye, get some lashes on, do some liner, and that'll be the first look done. So guys... I am back. I've done all of my little watermelon spots, changed my gloss, I had a little bit of a peachy pinky 
vibe with that. That was just the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Wet Peach. And yeah, I'm, a, I'm actually very surprised that I'm really enjoying it. I mean, I love green eyeshadow, as you all know, and I also love pink and green together. It's one of my favourite colour combinations. But this is just doing some very much bits for me and I'm really, really just looking at it and thinking like, hmm. wow. Ooh. Oh, don't mind my eyelash popping off in the corner. Who's done that? Rude. But yeah, so guys, that is the first look complete. Let's take off the eyes. Oh my God, the eyelash is really saying bye here. Let's take off the eyes and then we'll move on to the next one. So guys, we are back. I have removed everything. I have a wrinkly ass forehead because I've been using lots of facial expressions apparently. And obviously my eyes look um, <laughs> very attacked right now. However, moving on to the next look. This is one from one of my best friends, Elise. This is basically the gist of it. She said they are fireworks. So obviously we're going for like <laughs> black background, some pink, some orange, some purple fireworks. Nice and jazzy, ready for, well, I mean, obviously it's past bonfire night, thank God. Um, oh, 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 God, get that out of my face. Obviously it's past bonfire night, let's get cracking. So for this look, I'm basically going to lay out all of my colours for the fireworks, like the actual shapes, and then I'm going to go on the inside of them with like a lighter colour. Oh, hello, boy. This is my dog. If are you, no? Ah, no! <gasps> she just fully put a pause on my palette. I'm screaming. No, no. What have you done? No! What are you doing? Can... Hello? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you move? Hello? <laughs> Sorry about the technical difficulties there, guys. I'll just do the first step and then show you what I mean. So this is going to look really, really silly for... Oh, let me just start that light out. Really, really daft at the moment. But basically, all I've done is I've took my base colours of my fireworks and I've just sort of done them in like star shapes, like as if the fireworks are like falling, catch the vibe. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an almost white sort of similar shade of the color and I'm gonna use that to like fill in the centers of them. It'll probably just be easy to show you guys. Be right back. So now that I've added those light sections, I mean, obviously it looks crazy now. Like it literally looks like <laughs> terrible. However, once we get the black on, get the black in there, it makes all the difference. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this area, all of the, around all of the shadow, add black shadow on there, and hopefully it's going to start bringing it together before I start adding details like the glitter and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to do that off camera because I really need to be in and detailed. And then I'll be right back. As you can see, I mean, up close, it doesn't look the best, but from afar, you get the effect because uh, this is like a really, really hard look to pull off and clearly I'm not doing it well for the video. But I'm trying. We move. Basically, all I'm going to do now is add some glitter, all that jazz, just because obviously fireworks, glittery, it'll add to the effect, hopefully. So I'm going to do that, come back. And then, oh my God, these forehead wrinkles are not okay. And then I'm probably going to do my face again to get rid of these wrinkles. <laughs> we'll see where we get when I've added the sparkle. So, oh my god, this lash again. There we go. This eye, I didn't do exactly the same. I kind of made this one just like one big firework just to kind of save me some time and I could crack on with the next look. However, I kind of really love how it turned out all together. Like, she's quite sickening. I didn't put any highlight on the side of my cheek. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. I'll just add this on now. I'm just looking in the camera and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking like, wow, you're a vibe. You're a whole ass mood. Oh my God, this lash is really doing my nappering. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so this is, I mean, obviously it's not an identical take on like the one that Elise did send me. However, I'm hoping that you guys like it. I, f I feel like it just works really well together. Like the whole, this is the night sky with lots of fireworks. This is a big firework explosion with lots of color and I'm vibing. I'm 
totally vibing. This eyelash is not though. There we go. So I'm going to take this off and then move on to the next and definitely the final look because this has took me far too long to do two looks. So see you shortly, girlies. Okay, we're back. It's a different day. In the words of Michael Bublé, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. Sure. Um, yeah, so basically, ran out of wipes after I'd done my last look and didn't have enough cleanser to take off my makeup again, to put it back on to take it off again. So, here we are, about three weeks later. I'm just trying out some new base products today. I'm thinking I look quite sick again. But yeah, so, this look that I'm doing now was sent to me by my friend Jessica. So, I haven't got my laptop. So you'll just have to trust me that the way I do it is what it looked like. I'll throw up like a screenshot somewhere if I can. Um, but yeah, basically we've got some rainbow cut crease action going on. I'm just going to start and then explain as I go. I'm going to be doing like, uh, it's not hard, I mean, it is hard to describe, but not hard to describe. It's just hard to describe. <laughs> so I'm going to like do yellow cut, orange cut, red cut the middle out, purple cut, blue cut, darker blue cut, and then the outside is gonna be the red, orange, yellow again. Does that make sense? I'm just gonna take this right in the inner corner of my brow bone. I mean, he says it's gonna take long. I actually don't think it is. And then I'm gonna do the same, but on the outer side. I'm just going to cut a crease somewhat anyway and then once that's cut in I'm going to do that on the outer edge as well and then I'll be right back. Aha so now that that's all cut out nice and large and in charge what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go in with a small brush and I'm just going to add sorry sorry orange to blend up I'm not going to take it like right up to a lot of my crease because obviously what would be the point of cutting it because then I'd have just done like a nice soft blend um but yes yeah, so I'm going to go in with the orange and I'm just going to blend that upwards and leave a little line there and we'll see where we go from there all blended out exactly the same i'm going to recut the crease and do the same with the red and then i'll be right back to slice out the middle and show you what i was trying to explain earlier so as you can see we are back i've cut that crease out nice and good oh it doesn't look even because of the shape of my eye but you're not really going to notice it because i'm going to have lashes on and cut it out oh no it's actually not even so that's funny <laughs> i'll just cut that out real quick No, that actually is the shape of my eye. So we move that I don't have symmetrical eyelids. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a nice pastel purple shade from this palette and I'm just going to stick that right at the top of the crease where that yellow is. <laughs> like down like that there's no need there's literally no need perfect done <laughs> said every makeup artist ever my first cut and that's gonna like join the two looks together so basically what i want it to look like obviously is that a photoshop two looks together now see how that crease like matches up fab yes 
I'm just tap that down. <laughs> so now I'm just going to do the same with the blue and then a uh, darker blue and then we're going to do lower lashes, lower lash line, lashes and then we'll be good to go and the video will be done finally after like three weeks because I'm a procrastinator. Guys, I am back and we have finally finished. Obviously, I didn't do both eyes completely off camera um, because this took longer than expected. I probably could have deepened the colours as I went. So, like, in, like, a deeper yellow, a deeper orange, a deeper purple, a deeper blue. But I'm kind of just liking the monochromaticness of it all, like, the one shade of each. So... God, why have I got eyelashes all over my face? Let's take a brush and remove those, shall we? There we go. So, like, I'm just looking. And I'm really vibing with this look. I'm really vibing with this skin, actually. Like, I'm feeling quite... Of hair on my lip. This is the look, all finished. Like I say, I'm really loving. I love how all three of them turned out, actually, to be honest. That firework one from Elise, that was almost a career ender for me to start that weave out. It was just not. No. One of those ones that, like, I mean, I'm always the biggest advocate of trust the process, but that was like, I was really trusting that process. However, this one, oh, I'm such a sucker for like colour. It's just me. I'm the colour queen. What can I say? I think that's everything. So, guys, that is everything for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, hit that thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up dance. It's going to be my new thing. I can feel it. Yeah, so don't forget to hit that like button subscribe down below and leave a comment for what you want to see for the next video tell me if you like the looks tell me if you hated them and if you did then you're a liar because you know what i mean you just can't you just can't not like them and if you do like i said that is a lie i am sorry to this man but i do not know who that is and i shall see you on the next one bye guys